Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to play video in Unreal Engine 4 in your game. And also I will show you how to create a touch and play triggers in your game. Alright. So first, if you already have your video, I will just give you an example. I want the sample video 02. So this is just a few seconds. Play until you finish. It is about a five seconds video. I want I want when this avatar touch something. For example, when it touch I put a cube, sorry. I put a cube here. Here I put a box trigger. So that means I want when when my, my main character in the game touch this box trigger, it will automatically play the video just now. So, next, <clears throat> you have to import your video. First, you click the content. Make sure you are in the content folder already. At the beginning, maybe you are here somewhere like this. You click the contents to back to the content folder. And you right click here. Create a new folder. And the new folder name must be movies. Alright, it's under the movies. Alright, so under the movies, you right click the movies and then click show in, sorry, not here. You have to show the folder, show in Explorer. Make sure you, you show in Explorer, then it will automatically open your, your folder. This is under my Unreal Project Video Test 05 Content Movies. So the video that you want to import into here, you must copy into this folder, the sample video 02. Alright, I'm going to copy this. Sorry, I use Ctrl C to copy and paste here. Once you once your movies folder already have the video that you want it to play, play at here, then you double click your movie folder. At here, back to your movie folder must be content movies in your file explorer you can drag in. Right. Now this is the sample video 02 that already successfully imported into your Unreal Engine. Next step, you right click here, <coughs> then media, you need to create a media player. Make sure you tick here, video output, media texture assets, click OK. Then you rename it as my player, this is a media player. Next, double click it and then you can see your sample video at here, you double click it, it will play. Let me play again. See me never play at here. If this happens, maybe it also won't won't play. See, you don't play play the video here. Okay, now finally it loaded already. You must make sure you can play. Now, sometimes the Unreal Engine will take time to load load from your computer. Right. Now I assume it already can play. Just now you can see ready. Right? Alright. 
If I play in a big screen, it takes time to load it up. But so far, no problem at here. We are going to next step. Next, you should, you should set an empty actor, drag it down, an empty actor. This one is invisible in your game. If you, you try to play, actually that is invisible. That is just an empty actor. All right, now we're back to here. Select the empty actor. Press F. See, this empty actor is selected. And the name is actor this one. We are going to rename it. You can just select it and press F2 to rename it as sound. This is very important. Once you name it as sound, you need to add a component. Then, here, search media, sound. So now, you can see the media sound already selected. Here, just scroll your mouse with the media sound already selected. Under the media player, the media and media player here, you need to choose your my player. This is the first step that you must do. All right, next. Next, you are going to create a widget. You right click here, user interface, a widget blueprint. All right, the widget blueprint, you want the player to touch and play this trigger box. So the widget blueprint, you just name it. Okay, this one's still here. The new wizard blueprint, you press F2 to rename it as touch and play 01. And this one, click your trigger box, and then here you rename F2 to rename the trigger box touch and play 01. To make sure all the name, you name it systematically so that you know what is that. That is the first step. All right, next. Double click your touch and play. So this is a wizard. Next, you can see the My Player video. This is a media texture. You look at the top. This is a media texture. This is your sample video. This is a media texture and this is your media player. So drag your media texture to here. All right, under this, this is your touch and play zero one. We want to make it as big as this frame. This is your screen. So. This one already selected, already drag in and selected already. The size X, you put 1920. This is the HD screen resolution. The size Y, you put 1080. All right, now drag and fit into the frame. Now it already in the, in the screen already. Next, what are you going to do is you go to the graph, and then, here, you need to add a variable. You can see a variable here, you need to add a new variable. Here, you type media player. Then, under the variable type, you need to search it and type media player as well. Media player. Next, click compile. 
and then drag down. You, you should be able to see the default value of the media player you choose. My player. This is a media player that you created just now. Next. What are you going to do? From here, you click Compile first and File Save. You drag out the media player and click Get Media Player. All right. Next. Under your media player, you drag out. Then here you type open source. Click the open source. And then the media source, you press here. Click here. Select the sample video 02. And then you connect event pre-construct. You connect. So now this part done already. File save. All right, save it. Next. This one can close already. What we just said is this one, the touch and play wizard blueprint. All right. Just now it's a graph. We just said this. Then I close it. Next is about the trigger box. We are going to set an event in the trigger box. First, you click your trigger box. And then click Blueprint and click Open Level Blueprint. All right. Here, you right click, Add Event for Trigger Box Touch and Play 01. Click, click the little triangle here and click the little triangle beside the collision. Collision means when your player touch this, touch this trigger box. This collision, then add on when the actor begin overlap. All right. When you see this, next what you are going to do is you drag here, drag it out, and then here you type, you search and type create wizard. Create wizard. All right. And here you drag out. Here you type add to wizard. Sorry, add viewpoint, add to viewport. So remember, under the class, you must select the wizard that you had set just now. It's touch and play 01. This is the wizard that you has you had set just now. Touch and play 01. Next, connect the return value to the target. Then, add to viewport, then you drag out. You put a time delay, you type delay, and you should be able to see delay. And the duration, you need to key in how many seconds in this video. So now, go and check it, your sample video. How long is that? Drag until here is totally 5 seconds. So 5 seconds, I will put one more extra seconds, I make it become 6 seconds. That means once the video starts to play, you need to delay about 6 seconds, make, make your game freeze at that. After that, after finish 6 seconds, you drag out one more. That is, remove all widgets. All right, now for this part already completed. Now, click Compile and then File Save. All right, now it should be already set as a touch and play mechanism here. I try to play. Then now I'm controlling my player. Touch it. All right. Now you see, when the player touch this, all 
All right. When the player touch this, it, it will automatically play the video and play until about six seconds finish, then everything will stop. All right, that's all for today about how to create a trigger box and automatically play the video for every time when a player touches. it. All right, of course you can put it as an NPC. Now if I don't want this box, I can move, move it away. This is just a simple box. And this one, I can move it to anywhere. Let's say if I want to put an NPC here, also can. For example, I just go to content, mannequin, characters, the default character here, I can put a female there. I can put a, a people and NPC there. All right. Now, I try to play. This is under the character. I also can just go to the contents and put a third person BP under the blueprint. The third person, I can just copy. I right click and duplicate. This one I name it as MPC. All right. This one I delete. I don't want this. I put an MPC here. All right. For this NPC, I'm, I want to make him to face here. All right. Now you can see the trigger box is here. So that means if you walk to the front, once you touch, approach the NPC, it will play the video. This one should be somewhere here. So now I try to play. Now here is the NPC. The trigger box is somewhere here. If I approach from behind, it won't play. If I touch it, then it will play. So now it's in your, in your test game. You try to approach the NPC. All right. Now that is how can we use a trigger box to play the video in our game. The trigger box can be put in front of, of an NPC or any, any of the symbols or even just a, just a very simple plane here and make it as, as a mark so that you, you will know that when you touch it, you can play the video. And that's all for today about this. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all, activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.